Welcome back everybody. Today we are visiting the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store in search of not only the dumplings that I absolutely love, but their Halloween merchandise. Now last year I didn't make a video on Cracker Barrel because they didn't have much of anything out. And this year they have this fantastic little ghost lantern over here. Seems to be the hot item of Cracker Barrel's Halloween season. Seems to be not even available on their website anymore, but you can get a glimpse of some of the items we're about to see in the store. Um, but maybe we'll get lucky and find the lantern inside. So before we go ahead and head on in, I did want to say a special thank you to all of the patrons who help support the channel. It's very much appreciated. If you're interested in helping support the channel, you can click on the link in the description below to join our Fright Club. But with that said, let's go ahead and head on inside. Right off the bat, we're greeted with some fall merchandise, Thanksgiving, things to be thankful for, and so forth. They've got quite a bit of a selection here, but what really catches my eye is over here, this big skull. At first I thought it might be a standalone skull, but it's part of this, I think, this sort of Halloween tree decoration, topped with a raven. Now that raven I do believe is sold separately, as is probably a lot of this um, ornamentation. If you looked on the website, you could see a lot of that being sold individually. And look at this glittery skull and wine bottle over here. This wine bottle's got bats. It almost seems like something you could DIY, except I don't know how you would keep it going like that. Speaking of things that keep going and going, this haunted picture has lots of sound effects. I'm not going to play it all for you. Uh, because there is a lot of loud music here in the Cracker Barrel. It's certainly going to get me a copyright strike if we continue to do that. All right, we've got a little globe truck. I don't know why the inside has to be glittery and sparkly. It almost seems like more Christmassy. It would be great for like a snow effect, but I don't get it for Halloween. And uh, you got a witch riding a broomstick. That's a salt and pepper shaker. Eh, not sure how I feel about that. All right, here's a haunted house. <laughs> That is a seriously cool haunted house, even if it might be somewhat of a ripoff of a, a much more expensive version. I really like this uh, bell with the uh, skeleton hand here. It must do something. Cracker Barrel probably turned it off. That would look great in a haunted dead and breakfast display. Are you a nightmare before breakfast? I am. Silent, but sure is deadly. Is it bad? I first thought that was an outhouse, but I guess it's some sort of little mausoleum. Down under the table, we've got a bit of a let down in terms of jack-o'-lantern, especially with all the great designs we see at stores like Home Depot and whatnot. Uh, I think they could do something a little more clever with that. Here we have another sort of jack-o'-lantern with a top hat of bats. And then we get into perhaps some of the Day of the Dead uh, merchandise. We've got just a, a dog. Little skeleton dog. It looks like there's a pumpkin with some sugar skull imagery on it as well. I really wish all this stuff had been out last year when I did my sugar skulls and my Day of the Dead display, but oh well. I think everyone's following my trends now. All right, we've got a nice little carriage. Looks that reminds me of Cinderella and Disney. All the stuff is very cutesy, and they've got uh, some dish towels. What is this, a pen with a sugar skull on it? Just lots of different sugar skull decor. Salt and pepper shaker, I think that is. Oh, I love this. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is, kind of like a crystal ball, I guess, but I like that it's got the spider on the top. I'm probably gonna steal that idea and put a spider on top of mine at home. I really love that swirling mist effect, though. All right, soap, sugar skulls, and then we've got some books. Actually, I am... Uh, tempted to get some of these books, even if it's just decor to throw out on the coffee table and maybe flip a page or two around the rest of the year. All right, they even have 
those Japanese style comic books. Sorry, I don't know what they're called, but it's uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's actually kind of interesting. Love this Frankenstein t-shirt. I'm sure they don't have anything in my size. These all look very small, um, but maybe they do. I probably should have looked around. They have a bunch of different designs. Of course, Nightmare Before Christmas. As we make our way around the corner, we can't forget there's some Snoopy there and throw and what is all this stuff over here some i think this is kind of blending into the costumes we've got things for for babies and oh look you can give away some lip balm treats here's a screamer for the life of me i can't imagine why anybody would want one of those things <laughs> if you have one or want one leave me a comment below i need to know why in the meantime let's go ahead and look at some more costuming Lots of things for little toddlers, uh, very cutesy, nothing gory, obviously. This is Cracker Barrel. Um, this looks like it could be getting into the older ages. Above that, we've got some jewelry. I absolutely love this spider-themed necklace. Looks like we've got a keychain, some earrings. Everything is very, very sparkly. All right, for the kids again, we've got some Scooby-Doo merchandise. We've got a friendly looking vampire Scooby-Doo here and then a Frankenstein. He probably did something. I should have pressed a button if there was one. Here's something with buttons though. <laughs> 15 spooky sounds for Halloween. Another stack of t-shirts here. I wish they made these in adult sizes. I think these are all for kids. I would totally wear one. Not sure about these little wolf things. It's hand puppets, it looked like. If Harry Potter's your thing, it looks like you could get a wizarding wand. Knock off, looks like. Well, maybe it's not, I'm not sure. Here's a potions class set. That actually looks kind of fun. And here is serve time in Azkaban. I think that was Azkaban. I'm not really sure now if that was actual licensed Harry Potter stuff. I used to love these little highlights, hidden picture stuff with the little pen that you can draw on and reveal things. I actually kind of want to buy that for nostalgia purposes. All right, there's some sort of, that's a pig. I know it's some sort of cartoon for the kids. Don't really know anything about him or what he does. And we've got a sort of dancing gizmo from the Gremlins. I don't know, do kids these days know the Gremlins? Did they make a remake of that yet? I mean, they make remakes for everything now. They probably should. Absolutely love this sort of lab-themed soap dispenser. Got some books here, two kids' books. And then, of course, costumes. We'll just take a quick peek at these. I'm not sure Cracker Barrel should be your go-to for Halloween costuming. Um, they have some neat candy, though. I love this little toxic waste barrel. You could reuse that. Um, it's not a Halloween prop, but it could be. And we have a Stranger Things album. Um, I love Stranger Things. They have great music. All right, now I did have to go to another Cracker Barrel. I was still in search of that ghost lantern. And here I found this little guy from Star Wars Universe. I don't really follow it, so I know he's part of it. And then another globe over here that's got, again, more of that sparkly stuff, but this one's got a lot of bat. Oh, and look at the front of it. It's actually got a skull on it. That is a pretty cool, I guess we'll call it a crystal ball. Don't really know. And here is that animatronic broom that I think we saw a box for at the last store. So though I didn't find that ghost lantern, I'm not leaving completely empty-handed. I've got my dumplings here, and I'll take some comfort in that. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see more store walkthroughs, DIYs, product reviews, and so forth as we get closer to Halloween. Till then, take care and happy haunting.